It's a saw blade, which is really cool. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the- Welcome back! Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to a new video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Nick Fast, and today we're going to talk about what I got for Record Store Day. I've been waiting to make this video until all three Record Store Days were finished so that I could get everything, and then I would just make one whole video. And so, that's this. I haven't been making videos that much. I just got married. So we were planning the wedding, we were doing all that wedding stuff, and now I'm back. Oh, and I found the perfect couch for my record room, finally. So now I have somewhere to sit and listen to my music. I had to move some things around, but it's perfect. It's just the right size, it's comfortable. What more can you ask for? I'll post a picture so you can see it better because I'm sitting on it, so. We're just gonna start with the first record store day. So I didn't get much, I got two things. I got Tyler the Creator, Cherry Bomb, it's a gatefold. It came on a, I believe it's a red vinyl. Yep, it came on a red vinyl. Ooh. I wanted to get the instrumental of that one, but None of the record stores in my town carried it, and I didn't really want to get it on eBay. I didn't think I needed it that much. Next one is The Weeknd, My Dear Melancholy. This is also a gatefold. But it just has one album in it. And if I can get it out of here. Boom, boom. It's just on black vinyl, but on the back... There's an etching, I don't know if you can see that, of Abel's face, which is pretty cool. Came in this nice sleeve. It's more of like a wax paper kind of sleeve. Now I believe this is from the second record store day. I actually got this one as a gift. None of my record stores got this one, but Jeremy from Ojada Records in Grand Forks, he got it for me and I just got it last week i think and it's nas godson which is my favorite nas album i guess that might be like a controversial statement but it's on a do it has two lps both blue this album was the first nas album that got me into rap and got me into looking into other artists and all his old stuff and Without this album, I probably wouldn't know anything about the music I listen to today. So thanks, Nas. Next one I got, Hootie and the Blowfish, live. This one sounds pretty good. It said it was limited to 5,000. I like Hootie and the Blowfish, and this is during their prime. This was recorded during the Crack Rearview tour in 95, it says. It's pretty good if you're a Hootie and the Blowfish fan, you definitely would have wanted this. And it doesn't seem that hard to find. It's on eBay for pretty cheap still too, but it's got this like, I don't know what you call this. It's like a shiny material on the whole album. So it gets pretty smudgy. That's the only downside to that album cover. Next we have Murs and Ninth Wonder. It says that it's limited to a thousand units. This is also on a like, blue like splatter swirl kind of kind of vinyl the last one from the second record store day is wale this is his uh this is his newest album this one came on a like almost pink red color in certain lights i guess it's kind of a pinkish As I've said in other videos, it's not my favorite Wale album, but hopefully putting this one out, he'll want to put more out. And I can get some of his other discography on record. That would be great. So yesterday was Record Store Day, the last Record Store Day until Black Friday Record Store Day. I wasn't gonna go out because I didn't think I needed anything on the list, but I decided I needed to at least look. So I didn't wait in line for this one. The other two, I got up early, I waited in line. But this one, I just, I woke up at like, 10 o'clock on Saturday, and I was like, huh, well, I'll go check it out to see if they got anything left. And they had a couple things. So I just opened this one, the My Name Is Slim Shady 
it's just you know just a single and then it's got the uh bad guys always die from the wild west soundtrack and if i remember on the wild west soundtrack i think there's like a couple lines in there that they edit out so i'm gonna listen to this and see if it's all edited or if it's you know not i also wasn't gonna do this because i'm not a huge freddie gibbs fan but i did pick up freddie gibbs pinata was it 74 right 70 pinata 74 yep the cover is really cool i did like this album but i never bought the record of it so why not now freddie gibbs mad lib i don't think you can go wrong the production and i heard it's mastered differently so it kind of it sounds different or like sound more crisp i'm not really sure about all that i'm not i'm not a hard audiophile so i don't know about all that but i'll listen to it and see how good it sounds like the last one i got for record store day this year i got the miles davis bitches brew and it's got i think it, it just has like rarities on there that weren't put out a collection of bitches brew era rarities on a double lp red vinyl and i haven't opened this one yet because i just got it yesterday i have the original bitches brew but this one just looked kind of cool and i wanted to hear the the rarities of it so i had to put this on and sit back and relax and listen to this i got a couple other things while i was out on record store day and a couple things in the mail i just wanted to show you guys so i got my Ari the rugged man single came in the mail finally if you have me on instagram you already saw it but it's just it's a saw blade which is really cool it's the slayers club it's got onyx brand nubian iced tea it's good if you guys haven't heard the ra the rugged man album yet you should definitely listen to it if you're into rap music i highly recommend it i think that's my album of the year so far while i was out record store shopping i picked this new uh frank turner and no effects album up they've got like it's got 10 songs frank turner covers no effects songs and no effects covers frank turner songs and i listened to it like on spotify and i really i mean i like no effects and i love the cover of bob that frank turner does it's such a good cover if you haven't heard it go check it out check it out on spotify if you can't find the record but i had to pick this up for my collection and then yesterday i picked up this this thundercat album that i've heard a lot about i just haven't taken a chance to sit down and listen to it so i figured what better way than just getting the record sitting down hanging out and listening to this i've heard a lot of good things about this so i don't know much about it other than that he's worked with like mac miller and kendrick lamar and charles gambino um other than that i don't know much else about it on friday beastie boys put out another deluxe like best of kind of album thing and so i picked this one up it's just a best of it's a target exclusive so it's on a red and a white vinyl i thought about just getting the black one but i figured why not they're both the same price so but it just has their hits on here it's got you know fight for your right brass monkey no sleep till brooklyn body moving check check it out intergalactic and i already have a best of bc boys but i love the bc boys so i try to pick up everything i can from them i found this yesterday at orange records it was 20 percent off brother ali this is a record store day release from 2017 it's numbered 2540 out of 3000 so I picked this up just because it, it was on sale and I don't have it. Brother Ali's good if you guys haven't heard him. He's under Rhyme Sayers. Definitely check him out. It's more of a conscious rapper. And then I got a couple of used ones. So I found this um, Paul Simon one at a estate sale. And it's the sleeve is like brand new. And the record looks like it's like never been played. I only have a couple more to show you guys. I got... Patty Smith group. I didn't have this one yet, so I picked this one up. And the last one I found, which I think is one of the coolest ones I found just like in the wild. If you're a record collector and you find things in the wild that you've been wanting, it makes that find just 100% better. Like I found this a very special Christmas. And the artwork is by Keith Haring, which I really like his his artwork. But this has like the Pointer Sisters, Run DMC, U2, 
Bob Seger, Brian Adams, Sting, Stevie Nicks, and they all sing Christmas songs, which I thought it was really cool to find this. There's a part two that has Tom Petty on it. And so if anyone knows where to find that one on vinyl, I think it's green, let me know in the comments. That's all the stuff I got on Record Store Day. Let me know in the comments what you guys got. I'd love to hear it. And what I missed out on that I didn't see or I didn't get the chance to pick up. Thank you guys for watching. If you could subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys got. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, yeah.